Hi, this video was requested by subscribers of this channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download Twitter data without any programming skills using Car2DB. So this is a new Car2DB account. And if you create a new account, you go to data sets. I don't have any data set in my account yet. So if I go to new data set, then I select Twitter. And here, I can search for any term that I want. And here, since this is a free account, they only allow you to download data for the past 30 days. If you want more historical data, you have to arrange with Car2DB sales. Right here, this is the amount of credit that you have, so you can download 10,000 tweets per month. I'm just going to change it to 20% to download 2,000 tweets maximum. I'm going to use the term Messi better, and if you're not familiar with football or soccer, Messi is considered the best player in the world and others would argue that Cristiano Ronaldo is better. So first I'm going to download any tweets that has the word Messi better. I click connect data set. Now as you can see, Car2DB is downloading data on Twitter. Now it's ready. I click show. I need to see how many tweets Car2DB downloaded. So if you're familiar with SQL, you can say select count star from the table name. If I click apply, the result is 201 tweets. Now, if I click back and I click new data set, Twitter, and type Ronaldo better with the same dates and select the same number, 20, and click connect data set. So I have the other data set downloaded. If I click on it and run the same query, apply, I have 107 tweets saying that Ronaldo is better. But is this really significant? Because someone might be objecting that Ronaldo is better. Now, let's look into what Car2DB downloaded for us. So first, click Clear View. Let me close this panel. So these are the columns. If you scroll to the right, you should see this column called Body. And this is basically the tweet itself. So if you look here, Ronaldo better than Messi. Another person tweeted, Ronaldo better than Messi, 100%, and so on. Let's click into Visualize. And in Car2DB, you have to create a map to use more than one layer. So click Create Map. Click Map View. So these are the tweets about Ronaldo better than Messi. Let me change the symbology. So it's white and the stroke is black. Now add the other layer, Messi. Click Add Layer. And for the messy layer, also click clear view because the SQL statement is still there. Now we need to change the symbology for messy tweets. I'll make the marker color blue and the stroke red. I'll close the panel. Let me close this here. And from here, change base map. I'll select the dark style. If you look into England, there are many tweets about both Ronaldo and Messi. So let me open the layer here. If I turn off Messi layer, you can see the tweets for Ronaldo. And if I turn it back, then you can see the, the tweets of Messi. And it seems more. If you go back to the data view, there's a column that's called link. So if I scroll to the right, this is it. If I double click here, copy, open a new tab, paste. So it's a link to the tweet itself. Let's check out another link. Copy. And as you can see, this is another tweet. That's it for this video. I hope you learned how to download tweets from Car2DB. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.